My husband is Alan, and he has been in prison for 15 years, and I think 12 on death row. It's hard to be in a relationship that is based on something that is so tragic. My family was not happy. They were really scared for me. They're like, wow, he's like the worst person ever. It was really hard, but we managed and now we have a son. This is Sigrid. I met my husband first as a pen pal. She fell in love with Alan. When I decided to write to someone on death row. So that was the picture that was with, um, with the ad when I first saw him. In 2005, Alan was charged with first-degree murder and put on death row for his crimes. There are no plans for him to be released anytime soon. This is the very first uh, box, I think. I started writing to prisoners, not prisoners in general, but death row inmates. Because I was against the death penalty, one box is one year. I believe in second chances and rehabilitation. Yeah, that's the very first letter that he responded to my awkward <laughs> letter. Pretty quickly, we started just writing all the time. Your life sounds very exciting to me. I can't wait to hear more about you and your life in Copenhagen. When I started to realize that I was having maybe feelings for him and him for me, uh, we both got scared because it was not just a prison relationship. It was also a really long distance relationship because I was in Europe. We took a step back and we tried to stop writing to each other and we were both miserable and after six weeks he wrote back the first words were i love you their long distance relationship blossomed and after a year of writing alan proposed we got engaged here because i'm showing my ring they had to prepare for their big day to be behind bars he just made a little speech saying how much he loved me and how much i mattered to him and that he really wanted to spend the rest of his life with me It's bittersweet when I look at the pictures. It's really hard and seeing us like together holding hands, it makes me really nostalgic and I really hope I can have that again soon. Not everyone was happy about the couple's big news and Sigrid faced a lot of criticism from family and friends. I think it's when they found out his name and looked him up and that's when they all disappeared. They were really scared for me and I think they were wondering who he was and if he was being honest with me. I sent, I think, maybe 60 to my own family uh, wedding announcement cards and I got maybe four. I got your card, a couple of congratulations and that was it. I got a few people who deleted me from their Facebook account. I understand that it's really hard to understand. So I just would like a few people to understand me. It makes me happy and I don't get why it bothers people so much. People who are supposed to love me, they're bothered because someone is loving me right and making me happy. And it's not just the judgment that's difficult. Being married to a man in prison has its other challenges. I only speak to my husband on the phone once a month. Hey, how are you? Good, you? I'm good. I'm shaking. I almost missed the phone call. <laughs> I wish we could spend more quality time together. That's probably the most difficult part about a prison relationship. It's harder than I think we both thought it would be. That people, you know, stigmatize you just for being in a relationship with me. Mm -hmm. But I know that people who judge you that way are a waste of skin anyways. Yeah, I love you. I miss you. Je t'aime. Je t'aime. When I go to the visit, it's always bittersweet because... I'm really happy I spent six great hours and we could touch, which is really important to just be able to touch a little bit. But I'm just, I'm sad I have to leave him there. We don't want to say how my son was conceived. I think it's important that we can sit and explain to my son how he was conceived before someone else does it for us. I like to respond that he is in prison, but I'm not. It was really hard, but we managed, and now we have a son. Well, sadly, Ellen missed that. Everyone who had a baby know how fast they grow and how much they learn in such a short amount of time. I tried to send short videos, but it's, it's not the same. And I will tell him that his dad is not who people are going to tell him he is. He is a, 
an amazing person that is really caring and sweet and that he loves them very, very much. But being a single parent in a new country has been tough. We are in the town where I feel like people might have heard about the case. And so it scares me telling who my husband is. I started the Penta website with one of my friends. We really truly believe that people are more than the worst action of their life. We know that if they find a pen pal, it could be life changing because we've been just regular pen pals to other people and we made a difference in their life. Despite all the challenges they faced, Sigrid and Alan are looking forward to the future. Being with Alan definitely changed my life, everything in my life. I'm really embraced as who I am completely and loved unconditionally by someone who I love the same way. And now we have the little guy here, so this is something I would have never wanted with anyone else. <laughs>